No, I didn't. <laughs> We have tons of materials. Okay. Um, well, it looks like everyone's getting ready. We're going to get started soon. I think the speakers will start. I'm excited to be here representing actions that have gone on in Nebraska and across the country. Uh, I think we can really stop the Keystone XL pipeline, so it's very encouraging. <laughs> What's going on here, Mr. Fox? Well, um, this is part of a series of rallies that 350.org has organized all across the country. It's called Draw the Line. This Keystone XL battle, which I was arrested in front of the White House uh, protesting the Keystone XL pipeline, bringing tar sands oil from Canada all the way through the United States, continues now two years later. And we've still been successful in stopping this uh, pipeline so far. And this is yet one more opportunity to give a message to President Obama that you can't talk about climate change and say that you're acting on climate change and do something like approve the b world's biggest carbon bomb in history. Um, James Hansen has called the tar sands, you know, game over for the planet. By the way, I don't know if you're aware um, that Con Ed has embarked on a 20-year multi-billion dollar investment to expand natural gas use in New York City. I do know At the that. same time that we have several pipelines being either upgraded well, or installed. Well, this is another pipeline, right? The Spectra pipeline that's coming in uh, to Greenwich Village, which is dangerous, and also bringing gas from fracked areas in Pennsylvania. So you're going to get, in New York City, the product of human rights violations, the product of water and air contamination, the pro product of fragmentation of communities coming into New York City and on being on the receiving end of that horror. This is something that the next mayor of the city has to stop. Besides all those reasons, which are external, internally, it's not clear that this gas doesn't have levels of radon and radium that are going to increase uh, cancer rates in New York City simply by people turning on their stoves. Um, so this is a lose-lose all over the spectrum. If any, face me. Awesome, perfect. Seems people don't want this. This oil from Canada, how do you feel about that? Uh, from, from Canada, it's, it's doing terrible things to our politics. Um, you know, we're all proud of having a good government that was very representative of its people. And you bring oil money into this, and it brings oil corruption with it as well. And so the, the Harper government has been extremely against its people, very propagandist. Uh, and today, uh, the entire scientific corps in Canada are gathering and marching against the government because they're being muzzled and being told essentially to give, give up their science and start uh, spotting whatever the government wants to spot them. And that, that's turning one of the most rich things we have in our society, the institution of science, turning it into a propaganda apparatus. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's work on another chant while we're at it. Here's one. No, the people are rising. No more compromising. The, the people, people are rising. No more compromising. The, the people are rising. No more compromising. 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 The people.